hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel hours ago uh, just about 24 hours ago there was so much revelation going on in southeast and a lot of persons are shouting yes finally biafra has come just as uh, mazina Rikano has predicted that when biafra will come before to show that biafra will come and that a screw will be coming into that once it lands in southeast then that means biafra has come that i had to do a lot of digging a lot of investigation to find out what's the correlation between it uh, b uh between israel between biafra and biafra actualization judging the fact that as we speak right now martin amdekano is still in detention awaiting trial uh, but we are going to get all these dynamics into one some persons have gone into history to find out the correlations and why there's so much jubilation since the spiritual you know obviously controls the physical so i guess they're looking at it from the realm of the spirit you know trying to bring it up into the physical how things will begin to align we do not know we're going to find out all those in a moment but before we do so like and subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well a young man named avaram carrying the over 200 years old sefer torah that survived the holocaust brought to Igbo jews by the visiting team from israel the team is led by rudy rockman and has david benayam and norm libam as the other members the picture is yahuda and Igboga, also carrying the torah the Sefer Torah is being donated to Igbo Jews. What is contained in the Torah? It contains the instructions which Igbos have practiced as omenal for millennia. It is the moral and spiritual compass that guards the Israelite people as an eternal covenant with one true Elohim we call Chiuku. Chiuku. Avram Van Ripper Deren. Claire Coraline Rosavan Zimzin, that's their name now. Recall that Nam Kanu earlier declared in his broadcast that any day you see Sefa Torah appear in Biafra land, it means Biafra has come. Wow. Now there's that general saying that we were never lost, journey has just begun, meaning that finally that um, the Igbos are beginning to reroute themselves back to their their roots their generation now people are wondering how is this root so well eric according to the findings i found we're going to look into this very critically he said eric that's e-r-i the accessory father of the Ndibos, fifth son of god who is the seventh son of jacob that's israel the twin brother of esau the sons of isaac the sons of my father abraham the friend of god we were never lost we are from the root of jc our lord and savior jesus christ we will live and die in him i am i am learning history welcome home my brother rudy rochman from israel so a lot of persons are crediting it that they are finding the last link of the indie a lot of persons have been reacting over this even a uh, rudy richman himself on his social media page said that the sefer torah has actually touched Igbo land from jerusalem he said we were welcomed by the community in lagos nigeria and later in ogidi then we were never lost journey has just begun they're now rooting looking out for their lost brother in Igbo land wow a lot of nigerians have been reacting let's just take one or two reactions of nigerians this person seemed to have one or two ideology on what it actually means as it took time to explain what the sefer sefer torah means according to him he said a torah scroll in hebrew sefer torah is a handwritten copy of the torah which means which the meaning of the pentateuch or the five books of moses it must meet extremely strict standards of production the torah scroll is mainly used in the ritual of torah reading during jewish prayers i guess this is more of jewish than christian uh, but whichever way uh, lots of nigerians have been reacting some persons are allergen but it's actually alleged you know, until proven different that now that um the sofa torah is in Igbo land in, in in the touched lagos it's now in anambra and it's moving on and on i guess it's a sign that um, israel is seeing 
uh, Southeast as their brother, and they may likely be talking or speaking over the issue, but they have not said anything yet on it. Okay, openly, at least the one we know, they've not actually said anything concerning it. But uh, one or two, uh, one or two prominent uh, media persons from Israel were surprised at some point when they saw their friends holding the flag of themselves biafra and the flag of israel alongside as well they became quite curious as in they were like well what is our flag doing in nigeria then they look close did not realize that some persons have been calling them out and say look we are from israel we are not um, yes at some point we got merged and all that so he took a closer look and said look there's something unique about these people and he not started understanding them how were they lost and all that so i guess the lost journey the torah coming in i guess they now want to start you know starting from the beginning how maybe there's a lost brother somewhere that they can route it route it route it down to uh, the southeast but we don't know but like, we're going to take reactions of Nigeria. Okay, this one here is of a different opinion. He said Igbos are not Jews and they are not to be taken as one. Okay, while well, this one here is actually coming against him saying, look, Igbos are not just Jews, but the Sefer has a lot of meaning. According to him, he said the Sefer Torah is like an extension of hands of fellowship in one brotherhood, togetherness and one accord to only the lost tribes of israel I, I could still remember then they would keep saying things like the lost tribe of israel well saying so we have some of the jewish guys israelis right now in nigeria i guess they will start you know connecting but don't forget okay and let's just quickly you know resonate this that the spiritual controls the physical sometimes the physical usually don't look it in fact it probably miles and miles away from the uh, what the reality is like spiritually but eventually things we start aligning events will start unfolding then it will definitely look like what it was prophesied or said about in the realm of the spirit but one thing is certain a lot of um you know contradictions are coming here and there but one thing is definitely certain if there is a connection between the Indibos and israel and the sofa sofa uh Torah, you know, at some point, time will tell, events will unfold to see how this all links out. And also, the fact that before this whole so far uh, Torah is scroll thing, uh, there has been a prediction by MNK that when that comes, that means Biafra has arrived. So, so I guess this is, there's something about that scroll that is uh, that, that does not just meet the eyes, it's beyond the eyes of the ordinary. Events will fall time with her. Well, I guess that's where we're going to wrap it up. What's your take over the correlation and the connection of this crow to Ndindibos, to uh, Biafra actualization, and to Israel? Do you think at some point uh, the Israeli will have to react and begin to look into the Igbo case as a lost tribe of Israel? Time will tell. Let's meet in our comment section, please. What's your take? Do have a nice time. God bless you. Please, no hate words. Stay blessed.